Hi everybody, it's Tina Shaw from tinashaws.blogspot.com and I'm just going to do a really quick video tutorial to show you how to put the stationary box together. Here's my stationary box and I did this one in the Delightful Daisy uh, DSP and here's the box, super cute, the lid and then it opens up and then this folds down and you have your little compartments and in here I've got four cards with envelopes and then in here I've got four note cards with envelopes then there's a little pocket over here we're not going back in there very well uh, to put your posted stamps here I've got a little uh, actually half of a um, post-it notepad and then I bought the little pens from Office Depot and um, took them apart and put in the matching DSP and these little clips I got on Amazon. And so then again, that just folds back up. Let me get this back down in here. This folds back up and then the lid fits on. And then I did add a piece of ribbon around the top, which um, you know you can do if you want to. But there's the box. So today I'm going to show you one. This is in Tranquil Tide and um, actually it's the matching DSP, um, the Delightful Daisy as well. And I just saw where the, it's been retired. We knew it was going to be retired, but it's already out of stock. Um, here's another box that I made uh, using the Berry Burst. Same thing. Um, I haven't got it quite finished yet. But as you can see, it is just adorable in any color uh, with any matching designer series paper. So, all right, this is the 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. And um, I already told you that you're gonna score it at three and nine inches. You're gonna turn it, score it at uh, five and seven inches. And then you're gonna fold in on all the score lines and um, here, this piece, the, the ends, I call this the back of the box. This one, you're gonna cut off one and three fourths inches from each side, leaving, this leaves one, in, one and a quarter inch, I believe. And then on this end, you're just gonna score it at one inch on each end. And then what that does, this one will fold around the back, and then this will make the box. So you're gonna trim on these two score lines, and then you're just gonna take and glue. I like to use the liquid glue because it gives you a little extra drying time if you need to move something around. So you're gonna just do that. And then you're gonna take um, your first, this is um, the eight and a half by four and a quarter yeah, it doesn't look like it. But um, this is the first compartment that you're gonna put in here. And so what I did is I um, scored this one on three sides, the two short sides and then the one long side. And you're actually just gonna cut out this little square like this. And then you're gonna fold this on the score lines show you score score. Use your bone folder to get a little better definition there. And then what you're going to do, this is going to make your compartment where you're going to hold your cards. So you're going to take again and you're just going to put on some of your Tombow glue. And then I just line this right up to the edge of the pieces that we just folded in. So there's that. And then these two pieces here, we want to come into here. So I'm going to put glue on this side and glue on this side. And then you're just going to fold this up, bring this piece forward, just use your fingers to smooth the glue and get it to dry. Okay, 
So we're gonna set this aside. And they're starting to come together. You're gonna set this aside for a minute. And I'm actually gonna take the piece of cardstock that is the lid. The lid was six and three eighths by 10 and three eighths, scored at one and a fourth inches on all sides. And of course, go ahead and fold in, score, which I already did. And then you're gonna cut on these score lines up to the other score lines. So it'll be folded like that. Only what I like to do, I'm gonna take these pieces in like this, and I just think it looks kinda nice if you just trim off the little extra, like a triangle and just cut those off like that. Faster. And one more. Okay, and then we're gonna take, and you're just gonna glue again. I hope I'm in the picture here. You might want to try to get a little closer to the edge, corners, ah, blobby. And then you're going to put that up like that. And I just think it looks nicer on the inside if it's cut at the angle like that. And then do the same on the other end. Just fold that in. We're almost done, guys with our box, put that in, glue, and here's our lid. Super easy, super cute. Okay, set that piece aside. And then I'm gonna take my other little pieces here. This one is um, for the pocket. This one is the smaller one, two by four and a half inches, folded um, at a half inch and one inch on both ends. And then just take it, fold it on the score lines. Like that. And then here's my piece of designer series paper. You could just use your Tombow adhesive, or you can use your glue. It's handy. So I'm just going to put that right on here. And then I have uh, the larger piece somewhere. Here it is. This one is two by five and a half, scored at one half and one inch on the ends, like that. And then this piece is. Ah, where is it? Compartment layer. Two and, no, 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 no. I do have it somewhere. Pocket layer, three and a quarter by one and three fourths. Here we go. Here we go. And then I'm just going to put this on here like that. There we go. And then you're going to take and put a little glue on these ends here and you're going to bring back your box and you're going to take this piece and you're going to take and glue it right up against the edge where it folds in and put it down like that so here's your three by three card holder pocket and then the smaller one, which I just lost somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> Do the same thing. And then I'm actually gonna put a little glue on two on the inside, if you can see that. So the one goes up against there, and the one goes up against here. And you just push that up there. And this one holds your postage stamps, if that's what you want to do. And then I just take a big paper clip just until that dries so they stay together. And then there's your box. 
Now, I've got three pieces of a designer series paper cut out, and these are four and three fourths by five and three fourths. So these are gonna fit right on, right on the big inside of the box like this. And I got that one crooked. And this one goes on the inside of the box right here. And you'll want to be a little more careful and get it more even than me. And then this one will go on the front of the box. Like this. I'm doing this really fast. Just I'm trying to get it done uh, so I don't have to do this in two videos. Okay, so you're going to put that on there like that. And there's your box. How cute is that? And then this folds up. And then your lid, I do have a piece for my lid. And this one is uh, one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths of the designer series paper. If you wanted to, you could actually use the other side of the print, but I kinda did this one all the same. Okay, so here is your box. And there's your stationary box. And then if you want, course you can use your ribbon and just tie your bow around the top and then um, I liked using the daisy punch and I'll probably I'll make all my cards with the same uh, pack of DSP and um, so then I just punched out two of the daisies using the daisy punch put them together and then I just added piece of tranquil tie and then I want a large of course none are open a large yeah there are this is large the large clear faceted gem on the there and then I am gonna pop that up with a dimensional on the back and I just think it's adorable and super, super fast, super easy, and really super cute. So that's all that I did. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, you can contact me at Tina at Shaw's Mail or um, just through the Facebook um, Facebook page. I'm just going to tie a knot and then put a bow on later. How's that? And there's your box. All right, there you go. And here's the other boxes again. This one was the, my, my favorite is the daisy, <laughs> the daisy print. So anyway, thanks a lot. Bye.